Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia, this is Minerva, and today I want to take you with me on another day as a humanities PhD student. Just to give you a bit of context, I'm at the end of my second year as a part-time PhD in musicology. Part-time means that I work on my PhD for about six hours and four days a week instead of doing five days of eight hours a week. The other time I spend working a retail job. This is the second time that I'm doing a PhD vlog. You can find the first one linked up here in the corner and also in the description box. My work day has changed a little bit. Uh, mostly it's become a lot more realistic and a lot less ambitious. So for today, as pretty much every day for the past few weeks, what I'm planning is reading a single journal article, and by reading I mean reading and making notes on it, not just skimming it, uh, writing about 500 words. This is all pretty boring, but people have been asking me to do another one of these PhD vlogs, so I hope you enjoy another video full of montages of me typing at a laptop. My day always starts at 6am, that's when I set my alarm, and I do a three hour morning routine, which I also documented in a video, which I'll also link up here and in the description box if you want to check it out. It's basically just three hours of reading, doing some exercise and just being generally useful in the morning while I wait for my brain to wake up. But now my brain's awake, so I'm going to get started with the reading because I always find that reading takes the most concentration and focus for me. So I like to do that first thing while I'm still running on as close to 100% energy as I can muster. That's the reading done. It always takes me quite a while to read a journal article. I'm quite a slow reader when it comes to academic texts because often I need to reread bits just to understand them and um, just make sure that I really absorb the information that is being delivered. So now that I've finished this, I'm going to archive this straight away. Sometimes when I'm slacking a bit, I just kind of put this on a pile of other bits of paper that I need to sort through, but then I always end up having to spend whole days on just archiving my stuff. I had one of those whole days recently, so at the moment everything's in order and I'm going to put this where it belongs. If you are in the humanities, then you know there is a lot of reading to get through. I personally prefer to print off any journal articles that I want to read, just because I find it easier to read and take notes on paper. Obviously, if you read stuff on your computer, then it's much easier to keep things organized. So what I do with my paper articles that I read is I put a little sticker on them in the corner just to mark that I've read this. There you go. So that's now got an adorable little Tweety Bird on it. And that is going to go in my folder where I keep all of my red journal articles. And I've got two folders because I have quite a lot of reading. So I've sorted them by author surname. So this one goes in the a to M folder. The second most labour intensive task that I have to do in a day is the writing. And that's possibly the bit that I fail on most often. I find writing very difficult and I really have to force myself to do it. So this is the only task that I'm going to do before it's my lunch break. So I really want to get it done quickly so I can have my lunch sooner. At the moment, I'm in the middle of writing up an analysis of a selection of conduct books from the early 19th century. And these conduct books, they're all digitized online. So I haven't got any paper to read in this case. I'm just reading this off my screen. But that just makes it even more difficult because they've been scanned and you know the the quality is quite grainy it's difficult to read the fonts the spelling's a bit weird so i 
really have to focus on getting the meaning out of these conduct books and then synthesizing those and analyzing that and writing up my notes. In order to do that, I use uh, the software OneNote, which is one of many note-taking apps. This is one that my university provides for free, so I'm using it, but you could also use Evernote or even Google Docs, or of course, just a simple word processor to do things like that. But I like OneNote because you can organize things really neatly into notebooks and pages, and it just keeps everything in one place. It's also really easy to integrate images, links, and PDFs into OneNote. <laughs> the writing and now I am pretty exhausted and ready for my lunch break. finished my lunch break which was lovely but now comes my least favorite time of my work day which is the bit after lunch because what I really like to do right now is go and have a nap but instead I'm editing a conference paper which I wrote a few weeks ago um, I've not looked at it for a while I think now is the perfect time to you know have another look see what I can change up and just work on that a little bit by the way, this is uh, this is iced tea, not you know whiskey. By the way, if you work from home in whatever job, whatever degree, whatever you do at home, I would highly recommend getting at least one cat. Because there's nothing nicer than sitting at your desk and just having a bit of a, just having a bit of fairly silent company. This is Beetle, by the way, and he's adorable. Okay, that's my work day done. I have edited the paper. Now I'm really quite exhausted because, well, thinking is tiring. I don't know how useful this was to anyone. I already felt like the first PhD vlog I did was kind of pointless, but people really seem to like it. And like I said, I've had several requests to do another one. So there you go. If you find this useful, then please comment down below and tell me why exactly, because this was really quite a dull day. If there's any, uh, any advice, I could give it would be to uh, structure your day in a way that uses your energy most efficiently. For example, I can focus the most in the morning, uh, right after I get to my desk in the morning, so that's where I put the most difficult tasks, and then the kind of lower intensity tasks such as admin stuff, emailing, tidying up, you know, anything that really doesn't require your brain, I put during the times when I know I'm going to be tired, which is straight after lunch and also towards the end of the day. I enjoy working at this time of year because it stays really light throughout the day. So the sun rises really early and then it, st it stays pretty light uh, right into the evening, right up to um, eight o'clock, half past eight. Later in the summer, it's going to be light well past nine o'clock. And I just find that the natural sunlight kind of makes it a bit more pleasant for me to work than in the winter when it's cold and horrible. Again, today was pretty uneventful, but also a very typical day for me as a humanities PhD student. 
If you're new to this channel, if you found this video because you were specifically searching for PhD videos, I normally do videos about the books that I read, so if you're interested in literature, then feel free to stick around and have a look at what else I've got on my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye!